Hello everyone and welcome back to AL76. My name is Alex and welcome to another episode of my Formula 1 Championship Edition career. We have arrived at the Turkish Grand Prix for round 14 and this championship guys is beginning to really swing our way as we won in the Hungara ring quite convincingly. Probably one of my most dominant wins yet. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Toyota offering us the position of first driver yeah that's that's interesting but i've decided no but it's good to know that teams are now starting to go oh we want you alex come come and sign with us come and sign with us it's all good so with that being said um we're gonna let let these contracts lie for now and we will pick a new team for the new season i promise you but we're gonna stick it out of honda we are fighting for this constructors championship and if we keep that going what bmw <laughs> bmw are persistent offering us another advert uh, to try and join them um, but with that being said guys, it's all just getting so close and if you are enjoying this uh, this uh, series You know what to do hit give the video a like comment Share across the world hit that notifications bell and then you won't miss a single video from AR76 Anyway, let's head to Istanbul. It's time So having a look through at the championship now and after three race wins in a row it's just beginning to go our way with a 22 point lead at the moment over Felipe Massa in second. Giancarlo Fisichella slipping down to third. They're tied with his teammate Fernando Alonso while Marco Schumacher just starting to lose ground. I mean it is, it is close. I mean it only takes one bad result for us and that gap disappears. I'm, I'm not sleeping on it. I, I'm going for every single win and no one will stop me because I want to win this championship so bad. As we have a look through in the constructors, we've got a one point lead over Renault. You, you, yeah, that's just, just, just tight. It might as well just call that top three a tie. McLaren sitting comfortable in fourth there and it looks like they've won pretty much fourth place in that. So that's one position we can pretty much guarantee there and uh, looking further down, no changes at the bottom. Uh, Nico Rosberg out in qualifying one. Which was a little bit of a shock, but it seems to be that every now and then one of those new teams will just slip through with a with a good lap. As we go through into the next session there, it was uh, Scott Speed making it through into Q2. But Fissy Keller, that's the big news, out in qualifying two. The Renaults just don't have the straight line speed here, while uh, Honda and Ferrari seem to be doing extremely well here. As we come through now, we're currently P2, and I just could not get the fuel run right. I just felt from qualifying two... I don't know if the track temperature changed or something, but I just didn't feel as confident in the car as we have a little bit of a spin. But anyway, we come through to the end of qualifying three. The lap counter will go to zero, but we will be able to finish this lap. So it's all looking very good at the moment. Coming out of turn two, just trying to keep a nice, sensible line as we break down heavily into turn three. Uh, an off-camber turn, so the car just almost kind of wants to go off. You have to really hook it in as tight as you can, but I was just running a little bit wide. I just couldn't get the downforce levels that I wanted in this uh, Honda. As we head through now into exit of turn six, just a little bit wide. I was just thinking, oh, you know what? This isn't going to be the best lap. We're down on two attempts on our PB, but I'm hoping if we can hook up that last sector, we've still got a chance. The last sector is where we were losing quite a bit of time as well. And I just know if we get that uh, last turn spot on, we're sorted into tricky turn eight, as uh, this is just the most famous part of the circuit. If you don't love turn eight, you're not a Formula One fan. I think this is one of the best corners in the sport. I absolutely love turn eight. So we break into turn nine and then going through into turn 10. And then we end up with this beautiful, beautiful straight. Ruined in 2011, my own personal opinion, by the drag reduction system, DRS, where the rear wing opens up. Thankfully, we don't have that in this game. It's pure raw racing, overtaking. None of this uh, ERS, uh, none of this uh, rear wings opening. It is straight to the point racing and it's going to be epic. Mark my words, this episode is going to be epic. Probably one of the best of the entire season, without a doubt. Coming out of the last turn now, we've had a very, very good uh, last sector. Coming through over the line now. Can we do it? 132, just missing out there, but we did improve. And we are P2 with Jensen in P3. So it's all looking good at the moment. And uh, we've got three laps of fuel. We set the standard strategy. So Martin Brundle, bring it in. We're coming to you live from Istanbul Park for this year's Turkish Grand Prix. Istanbul Park is situated in the Asian hills on the outskirts of the capital. Though fairly new to the Formula One calendar with the first Grand Prix stays here in 2005, the circuit has already achieved some notoriety. Spa has its Eau Rouge. Istanbul has turn eight. 
considered by some to be the toughest turn in Formula One. It's one of those corners where you really need to commit yourself, but overcommit, and it's likely you'll come a cropper. Conditions are just about perfect here today. Clear skies and perfect temperatures on and off the track. The forecast is also good, and we expect it to stay like this for the whole race. Michael Schumacher will start from pole. You're next, alongside him on the front row. Jensen Button goes from third. Fourth is Fernando Alonso. They are followed by Felipe Massa in fifth. Kimi Raikkonen is next to him in sixth. Seventh place for Juan Pablo Montoya. Jarno Trulli occupies eighth on the grid. With uh, Coulthard in ninth, Ralph Schumacher in tenth. Yeah, Fisichella, the big talking point there, uh, out in Q2. So, yeah, that's, that's crazy with Rosberg being sort of like the big big driver to be out in Q1 um, but anyway with that being said guys strap yourselves in turn off your telephones this race is going to be epic lights out and away we go getting a very good launch there Michael Schumacher also pulling away very nicely with Jensen Button just covering us there in P3 with Fernando Alonso in P4 with Wala he overtakes through although it looks like they're jostling for position Alonso and Massa for fourth and fifth place and Massa winning that battle out there at the moment so it goes Ferrari Honda Honda Ferrari Renault as we peel through now into the next turn there running a little bit wide hitting that grass nothing to be concerned of here as we break through now into turn five going through into turn six all looking pretty relaxed at the moment as we are following Michael Schumacher there. Jensen Button just seems to be doing the gap for us. In fact, we've pulled a nice gap there to Button. So it's all good in the moment. One second gap to Jensen. Uh, and he's only three tenths ahead of uh, Felipe Massa, who's a three tenths ahead of Fernando. So very close at the moment amongst the AI further back. But it's just pulled a nice little gap between myself and P3 Wells. You can hear in the background uh, Christian Albus in the Midlands Toyota out of the race. Um, but we are following Michael Schumacher at the moment as we head through now into turn nine, breaking quite heavily. I know that this, this particular straight with the uh, with the slipstream being as powerful as it has been all year, this is going to be where races are won or lost. It doesn't matter. It's just going to be epic. We've got a 1.2 second gap there ahead of JB. Meanwhile, uh, Massa just following on uh, a further five tenths behind. And uh, it was a break heavily into the fun, uh, into the hairpin. Uh, just a little bit of contact there with Michael. I'm getting aggressive today. After what we've been through the AI this season, it's all about aggression. It's all about speed and just plowing our way through if we can you know if we've got a wheel bang we got a wheel bang but i've made my uh message heard michael i'm coming for you i want to win this race i want four out of four the championship at the moment is very much in my hands i can lose this title but i can certainly win it as well as we head through now to the next turn we have just got the ferrari there it looks like we've even jolted that little bit of confidence out of uh, michael schumacher meanwhile jensen button still in p3 holding that gap as we are just hounding the ferrari we can just see that little vodafone sign on the side pods that just shows how close we are we are barely what how for close are we at the moment we've only got a tenth in it between us as we all getting so close uh three seconds up there on our personal best in sector one um we now got a two second gap over uh <laughs> <laughs> over uh, JB as we're going to turn 8 just losing a little bit of speed I back off a bit going you know what we're in where we need to be coming out of the exit of turn 8 we've really got that exit spot on with that slipstream just timing that perfect as we break through heavily into the turn, I'm just sticking behind him going, you know what, prepare for the exit. Coming out there, a little bit of a curve, just having a little bit of a moment. Could have gone without getting the back end out, but we are just, oh, it's a drag race at the moment going on to the main straight. But we are in the lead of the Turkish Grand Prix. What a manoeuvre. All so far so good right now. As we cover our inside there, make sure that Michael doesn't get through. A little bit of lock-up going through, but nothing to be concerned of. We've taken the lead. There you go. That is a signature put through. As we skip ahead now, later on into the race, it's all looking pretty good at the moment with a 7 tenth gap over Michael. It's time for our pit stop. We've just kept the standard strategy, so it looks like Michael will be on the same as us. There's a breakthrough into the turn there. Oh, just a little bit almost hitting in, in the walls there, going into the Siemens barrier. But everything's all going according to plan as we put the limiter on now. The pit stop has begun. As we come through, there is the Ferrari guys. Looks like McLaren are out for one of their guys too. But we know that Michael's behind us, so this is a race between... British and Italian pit crews. There we go. The 
the car goes up, the tyres come off, old tyres come on, the fuel rig comes out, new tyres going on there as we put the jacks back down, the lollipop goes up, it's a very good pit stop, 9.1, not our best of the season, but it's there or thereabouts, five tenths, we could have gone five tenths faster, but I was genuinely feeling the pressure, but we've kept ahead of Michael. That's the crucial part so far. Christian Clean ahead of us at the moment. Uh, I'm not sure who is in the lead. In fact, yeah, no, it's Jensen Button in the lead with one of the McLarens in second and a Renault in P3. Uh, I believe that is Fizzy Keller and P3. All looking very good at the moment. So we head through now with two laps remaining. Running a little bit wide there. Oh, no. Schumacher taking the lead. On the penultimate lap of this race, I'm thinking, no, I cannot have another mistake like this. Meanwhile, just Button just not getting that exit. Um... Yeah, not very good for him. It looks like he's going to be stuck behind the Ferrari. Just He's been holding, almost doing a little bit of a Jensen Button train. You know, we have the Trilly train. We've got the Jensen Button train. Uh, where no one could overtake. But oh my goodness me. <laughs> oh, wheel banging again with Michael. It just does not get much closer for this as we head through now into turn seven. Breaking quite heavily. Oh my goodness me. Oh, it just doesn't get any closer than this. There's a little bit more. It's going to get closer. We can have another wheel bang. Yes, we are. In fact, we almost ripped off our front wing in that position. But thankfully, we held it through. I'm thinking, you know what? Just calm it down deep breath <sighs> okay so we're gonna go out of turn eight and i'm thinking if we can get that x out of turn 10 spot on we can plow it through straight into uh the hairpin as we do that spot on just where we need it to be as we go to the right hand side there of michael but he's just got that torque from the ferrari 036 engine all oh, the wheels on me he <laughs> couldn't get it closer than this Michael Schumacher is an eight-time champion in this game. He won in season one. As we break through heavily into the lead, we go, but we just run a little bit wide, touching the glass ever so slightly as we hit through now. Oh my, he just doesn't get much closer than this. As we, he, Schumacher leaves the gap. There we go, into the final turn. Going on to the final lap, we take the lead of the Turkish Grand Prix. And I'm thinking, hold this gap and we win it. We've got to bring it home and just keep the slap consistent. As we head through into turn one now, I'm thinking I've lost it last time here. Oh, we got it spot on there. Clipping the apex very nicely, getting a nice exit. Just keeping that gap. I'm just watching my call there like a hawk. I know what the AI is like in this game. They are capable of diving down. I just keep a little bit of a defensive line there going into the turn. All good at the moment. and just all locking up consistently. But thankfully, flat spotting isn't a thing. Otherwise, we probably have enough flat spots to turn our tires into 50 pence coins. But it's all looking good out of the turn six. It just was not a good exit. And that was enough for us to win the Turkish Grand Prix. Out of the final turn we go. It's four out of four. This championship is really going our way now. Have some of that. You've done it. That's a truly momentous win. You take maximum points from this Grand Prix. Michael Schumacher will take second place. So there we have it, an amazing Turkish Grand Prix, and what a circuit. This is proving to be as unpredictable as ever. I can tell you, I was standing down at turn eight during Friday practice, watching the cars make those four consecutive high-speed turns, and I promise you, it was a sight to behold. I can recommend it to anyone who visits here. Just brilliant. In two weeks' time, we travel to northern Italy, to Monza, where you can bet your house there will be a huge presence of fans for Ferrari. We've had a wonderful time here in Istanbul, and we hope you have too. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you soon for the Italian Grand Prix. So there we go, Weber, Fissi Keller crucially out of the race. That might be a bit of a championship ending uh, uh, DNF there. I have a gut feeling that's going to hit him down the line by then some. Uh, Liuzzi and Albus also out in the championship. 26-point lead now over Felipe Massa. Yeah, Fissi Keller, I, you know, I'd, I'd say he's out now. Like, you know, we've not got many races left. What have we got? Four more races. Italy, Japan, China, and Brazil. And then that's it. We're done. Yeah. Uh, uh, Fisichella's out. Yeah. <laughs> Karma. You're out of the championship, mate. You're going to probably finish. You know, you might get to P2. So that's definitely an option. Um, but looking in the Constructors, four-point lead over Ferrari. I think that's also affected Renault's. I mean, the Constructors, you know, it only takes one DNF from Button and Renault are back there. But even so, we just got to keep our ground. It's, but that is for next episode's worry. Like I said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and a favourite. Share it across the world. Subscribe. Hit that notifications bell. And you will never miss an episode of this truly epic season. Two. It's just going to... <laughs> it's just been a crazy race. We've had a few dominant wins. But this one, we had to fight. We had to get our elbows out. We had to get everything going for this. And there is our trophy from the 2006 Turkish Grand Prix. 
looking a little bit dodge. I mean, if you've got a dirty mind and spend too much time on the internet, I don't even need to remind you what the tip of that trophy can look like. But it's a P1. But Ferrari, they'll be looking for revenge as we go into round 15. I'm sure Ferrari are going to be strong in Italy. It's a, it is one of their circuits. So, you know what? As long as we just keep those points coming in, just keep consistent, we will win the title. But that's it there, guys. All looking good at the moment. We end this episode with a 26-point lead. It just is, even if the constructors is going to be tough, we can still win the ultimate prize, the Drivers' Championship. And I want it. You want it. So then, with that being said, I think we should go and get it. So thank you so much for watching, guys, as we get an offer. Uh, well, that's just a reminder we got the offer from Toyota. I'll be seeing you in the next episode from Monza. Thank you so much for watching again. Goodbye for now.